Hey, what's up, everybody? We're at the Cameo Surgical Center in Long Island, New York. We just finished our portion of this project. It's not 100% complete, but I want to walk you guys around so you can kind of see what we did. So. Yo, it's 4 a.m. Um, we headed to New York and then Pennsylvania. So it's like a double dip. So this is part of the sacrifice. Up at 2.45 in the morning, out the door at 3.30, uh, on the way to New York. Alright, so check this out. Even though we have a system that can run an entire house or commercial property, it can be scaled down to something as simple as an LED lighting installation. And that's what we'll get a chance to do here. So I'm excited about this project. When we first walked on, I saw a lot of light. Track lights, recess lights, uh, it was everywhere but I knew we still had an opportunity to do something creative. So when you first walk in the building, it's this huge tray ceiling. It was some lights up there, but we was gonna rip those out. Like that's, that's no problem. Uh, and I also knew my man D was coming to do the floor. So it was gonna look totally different by the time we came back. So I'm thinking of putting some uh, ceiling spots here, maybe above where you want to highlight it. And I think it's gonna be like a Hammer, I think you said. Go ahead. So, try to come up with something cool, maybe some lighting effects, something to set the room off. Uh, so, I think I got a game plan. I took my measurements, pretty much know what I want to do. But if you know, like I know, that's going to change 40 times before we actually do it. <laughs> but before we could do anything. PSD squad! Young entrepreneur, young entrepreneur. I know you're fighting for your dreams. You got a lot in store. Gotta spend that money on that product, not that Christian Dior. Stressing over everybody's problems and they not even yours. Oh Lord, I talk to God, cause day to day this hustle hard. I'm at this point in my life where I'm like, fuck a job. Not to say they racist, dog, but this is like a race to y'all. I just want my own thing, no mean to sound ungrateful. I just want my own thing, no mean to sound ungrateful, God. I just want my own thing, no mean to sound ungrateful. It's not to me, but like a race to y'all, huh? Young entrepreneur, young entrepreneur. Young entrepreneur, young entrepreneur. Yeah, yeah, entrepreneur, young entrepreneur. Young entrepreneur, young entrepreneur. PSD squad. So as you can see, the majority of what we've done here is accent like The building was already up. It's not a new building. It's existing. We really just wanted to highlight certain parts of the building and uh, just give it a little flair. So this is the front desk area. We did some strip lighting underneath the desk, up in the tray ceiling, um, above the waterfall to give that a little highlight. And of course, we control all of these lights individually to give lighting moves that just Give you something new every time, you know? It's like a kid that keeps on giving, right? Bad joke, I know. Anyway, this is an automated lighting installation, meaning we're controlling these lights from a central hub. It's called a mini server. Out from that mini server, we're gonna connect to 10 RGBW dimmers. They'll connect to each strip light and let the light know what color to be at what time uh, based on our controls and the lighting moves that we create. We're using about 164 feet of strip lighting on this project. So it's a lot of light going in in a lot of different places, and it all has to talk. So the next logical question is how does it talk? Here's the software side of the mini server. On the left, you'll see all of our RGBW dimmers are connected, and on the right, you'll see a lighting controller, which is how we control our moods and scenes, so on and so forth. But these buttons can be reconfigured to control any process. So the possibilities are really endless when it comes to what we could do with this system. If there's one thing I would have done different on this project, I didn't get to highlight the waterfall like I really wanted to. Originally I planned to use like a wall washer LED strip, but because of some shipping issues, it wouldn't get there on time. So I kind of had to, you know. Uh, middle of the night, it's 2 a.m. 2 11 a.m. we're still working. I'm tired. Frustrated because things not going according to plan, but we gotta get it finished, you know? Such is life. I mean, this is what, this is what it's all about. Like, nothing ever goes smooth in construction. Ever. Ever. Improvise. That's the word I was looking for. And don't mind that little mini meltdown. I had one of those, like, every project. 
Anyway, we right back to work installing the touch surface, which is probably one of the coolest features the system has to offer. To describe it, it's the same concept as the touch, which is basically five touch points that allow you to control things. But this one is built to go behind materials, any non-conductive materials, so wood, stone, ceramic, and then you can control it from basically touching the material. For everybody that, that followed the Capital Heights project and saw the touch surface where me and my son were kind of controlling the lights from the countertop, we did the same thing in this project and I really, really liked it. We did it one time to activate it and then for touching the desk, we can cycle through all the lights. Um, you can also control the shade and lines or really any other thing we want to uh, with the same switch. So if we step over here, if we step over here, this is the weight area. We didn't do too much over here, uh, but it is a lot going on. We just kind of wanted to accent the top, accent the bottom. All right, so let's go check out the third and last room. We didn't do the whole building, just a couple of rooms, um, but this room might be my favorite. So, so basically right now we're pulling everything back from our different lighting locations to our one communication staff so everything can talk. I think layout and pulling wire is probably always the hardest part of the job. Cause I mean, you walk in not knowing what it really looks like behind the walls and then you just gotta make a play and make something happen. So it's always a challenge, but I'm always up to it. You know, I love what I do in that sense. building because we had some wireless components in the system that it needed to be close to. Now, I prefer hardwired over wireless all day, but this system hasn't really given me trouble either way. That's contact. So the back room changed drastically. I mean, we went from thinking about using ceiling spots, which are basically like two inch recessed lights, to doing a full LED strip installation. Everything is custom now. So we found these strip channels and they work perfectly. They look good on the wall, they diffuse the light the right way, and we use them everywhere. Once we got it powered up, the confidence was like on a million. Like I was like, all right, we're doing this, we're making it happen. And we still had some things to create like the hammer wall on the other side. So if you remember from the beginning in the video, the hammer was supposed to go on the complete opposite wall and it just wouldn't work. Like, like all the air ducts from this building were running right through that side of the ceiling. And luckily somebody on Dr. B's staff came by like, hey, well, what if we put it on this wall? So then it clicked, okay, smaller wall, so it'll seem bigger. We can use two strips instead of one. So that one spark, like the rest is history. Still some work getting done. Like I said, it's not 100% finished. Um, but as you can see, we did some strip lighting up top. Um, we highlighted the baseboards, which if you and check out something I really wanted to do for a long time. It's a Thor hammer in the wall. It's like stuck in the wall. The coolest thing about it is we created a lighting effect with the help of my man Ben that locks on. Shout out to Ben, your lightsaber. That's a wrap on this project. So if you like what you saw, please hit that subscribe button, tell a friend. If you're interested in working with us, we'll put our contact information on the screen and in the description below. And until the next time, peace.